Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, no matter where you're in the world, you know it is JJ and JJ's PC Builds. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. We're trying to get to 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. And if you've already subscribed, welcome to the family, welcome to JJ's PC Builds. And if this is your first time here, please subscribe. And my veteran subscribers, as always, much love to you for all that you do, helping support the channel and watching the videos and watching the videos help support the channel also thumbs up on the videos also helps puts us out there so youtube will make us recognized okay today is going to be a little bit of a different day i had a package come to me from amazon amazon that is but make sure you got your drink in hand and your snacks. I know I do. So here we go. Cheers. And yes, I know it's not a beer. But, you know, I still got my soda. And no, it's not spiked neither. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and bring you all down. And show you what I got cooking. So here we go. All right, today, yeah, you see my soda right here. It's right up in hand. I'll put it up out of the way. Today, we got a package from Amazon right here. Nice little prim package. And we're going to pull out and see what's going on in the package. And yes, you're probably wondering what these are and all this wires and stuff like that. This is, and I'll give you a close up. These are these Pelter plates that I picked up from Amazon. You get four plates for 10 bucks. That was pretty much interesting to me, you know, to see what was actually happening on. So what we're going to do is we're going to move all this extra stuff out of the way and put it over here so we get it out of the way. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab one of the plates and here and separate them. I'm not going to use all four plates today. That's for a different project. We will get into that later on down the road. But we got the TEC 1-12706SR right here. If you want to see it, there it is. Here, I'll turn it for you right there. Okay. Now... The idea of this is, is this is supposed to be a cold plate. This is supposed to be a cold plate. Now, if I remember right, on the back side here, this is the hot side, and on the writing side should be the cold side. If I'm wrong, then correct me in the description, or on the video. Leave your comment on the video and let me know if I got it wrong, which I know I probably got it right. And over here, I have me a 200 watt power supply, an oldie but a goodie. It's it's a testing power supply. I use it for the 12 volts, the 5 volts, and the 3.3 volts. Well, basically the 5 volts and the 12 volts. I don't use it for the 3.3. But you never know. I might use it for that one day or another. So I got it all wired out. I got the green wire. Yeah, I'll put this right here. I got this wired out to where the green wire that's right around on the back side of this. Right here, I'll grab the green wire. Put my thumb around it so you can see it. This right here, this wire right here that's on my thumb, that's the trigger wire. That's the green wire. That turns on the power supply. You mix that with the ground, those two together. You can put a switch on it if you want to make yourself a DC power supply. You can put a switch on these two wires, the ground and the green. 
I did a temporary little fix. I put put right here a little wire wound resistor. Well, it's basically it's an inductor, but you know I found a good use for it. So I used an inductor, so that way if it gets too hot, the inductor will dissipate heat and won't cause won't cause the overheating between the the switch wire and the ground wire so i usually do that just for testing for right now and you know just for testing so this works pretty good for that now the thing is this now what we have to do is we have to find what we're going to use for this. Are we going to use 5 volts or 12 volts? But what, what my thing is is this. I would rather grab out my multimeter, right? So make sure you have a multimeter with you when you go to do these things. So I have my multimeter with me. I'm going to test which one's 5 volts and which one's 12 volts, which I know over here on this wire that I have in my hand right here, this is 12 volts. I know that I'm not going to need this for right now, but later on down the road, I might need this. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and... I'm going to take and off of this, this line here, off of this line, I'm going to take and say that the this orange wire that they got here, this orange wire right here, I would say they got about maybe 12 volts on this and... We'll just have to weed through it. So that's going to be the best thing we can do at this point in time is just weed through the powers. And if you don't know the power, that's the whole reason of the multimeter is to figure out what the power is on each one of these. So what we're going to do, since this is no longer needed, we're going to take and cut. We're going to cut all that off. We're going to cut that block off. Okay, save this block because you can take, and I left a little bit on the ends, you can take and solder your hot and grounds, your 5 volts, 3 volts, and your 12 volts back onto this and your grounds, and use this as a, a junction block. So basically, if you got like Molex or something like that, you can solder on a Molex, uh, what is it, a male connector, and then you can tap in the female connector to it, or, you know, use your imagination with that. So my imagination says that I should separate all these wires figure out which one's which I'm not going to strip them until I get a reading on each one of those but we can split we can split the grounds let me get a knife we can take and split a ground wire and see what we got cooking now We'll split a ground wire. That means taking the plastic jacket off of the wire. All right. We'll put that over there. Put that there. And then we can use this for our ground line here. So this way, you know, this will free up your hands. You can twist this around onto your ground onto your ground lead the ground lead of the wire to your ground lead and then you can turn on your power supply make sure your multimeter is set for 20 volts DC 
and turn it on. Okay, I don't know how well you all can see that. I'll move my mouse out of the way, move this out of the way, move this out of the way. So that way you all can see. And let me fix this around again. This way y'all can get a good idea of what I got cooking here. So we'll go ahead and we'll put this and we'll fit this into the screen somehow. There we go. So you see, you got all zeros. Nothing's live. We'll put this back on here. And if you feel like you are you can't keep that wire on, always remember you got, you know, you can do the next best thing and keep your, you know, keep these Velcro ties on hand because they'll become your best friend when it comes to doing all this. So you can tie it around, you know, this way. You can keep that on the wire so you don't lose your place. These Velcro ties come definitely in hand. Look at that right there. Look at that. Those Velcros come in handy. These right here, they come in handy. So now you got all your wiring right there ready to go. Now you get your power from your power supply, which I got right here. I got the power for the power supply right here. So you all see it. It's right here. Let's go ahead and turn it on. And we got a green light. And make sure the fans are working. It looks like the fans are working on the power supply. I got a green light, the fans working, so we have power. Now, taking this right here, we're going to touch on the the metal in the inside and see what this is. So the orange is 3.3 volts. Let's see what the red is. The red is 5 volts. Okay, so that means the white has to be 12 volts. 11.86, 11.87 volts. That's pretty good. So now we got our 12 volt, we got our 5 volt, and we got our 3 volt. So we have all our voltages. Now we're fine. Now... The voltages we want to use, I'm going to grab another one of these uh, Velcro straps. And what we're going to do is we're going to take, we don't need the 3.3 in our way. So we'll take and we'll knock that out of the way. So we'll put that out of the way for now. So that leaves us with the 5 volt and the 12 volt. So now we got the 5 volt and 12 volt. The red is your 5 volt. I can slide this black one underneath here too. Slide the black one out of the way. That's just an extra ground line that's here. Got an extra ground line. Make sure you do not touch the 5 volt and the 12 volt together. Do not, and I'm going to repeat, do not touch those together. Because you'll end, up, you'll end up throwing voltage back into the other one and short-circuiting both. So make, keep that in mind. If you touch the 3-volt to the 5-volt, you're going to short-circuit the 5-volt and the 3-volt and the 12-volt. If, you know, any one of these wires touch each other, you can wind up short-circuiting the whole power supply since it's all based upon a 12-volt circuit, which is the white wire that's on this thing. That's the reason why I like... Um, I'm going to put this over here. I'm going to bring you all back up onto the other side for a minute. That's the reason why I like the wires color-coded. That gives me a good idea 
on how and what wires to use for this project. So, but when it comes to the fans, eh, you know, the fan kits that come on, you know, let's say, let me grab it really quick. You got these fan kits right here that have an all black, here, they have an all black wire right here. Okay. So with something like this, it's best to go on um, the website, you know, and um, we're going to do that. And I'm going to show you how that works. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's turn this off for a minute so we make sure we got all our ducks in a row. Okay, make sure we got all our ducks in a row. So we're going to go to the action screen. I'm going to take you right here to the action screen. And we're going to open up DuckDuckGo. And we're going to look for motherboard pinout. Pinout PWM. Pulse with modulator. Okay, so um, so you can go to a site like this and look for your pulse width modulation. Okay, so Usually they tell you what kind of connector is what. So your basic four pin, that's what you're that's what you're looking for right now is your basic four pin connection. You know, your four pin PWM. So you just gotta use you just gotta look very carefully. Um Let's see, motherboard, two pin, three pin, all right, motherboard, four pin, CPU, PWM fan connector. Okay, so there, now you get the PWM pin out for your four pin connecting fan. So they say pin one is ground, it would be a black one. The second pin would be a 12 volt positive, would be fan power. See the fan RPM and digital control, those are two you're not going to need to use. You know, you need the fan power and the ground. Those are the only two that you need. So you need pin one and pin two. Now pin two is going to be your hot side. So now we have to go over and look at our fan and figure out which one's which. That doesn't take too much to figure out which one's which. So do not plug this in until you figure out which one is which on the pins. So I am going to get a flashlight. And I'm going to look for pin one. Either it's on the back side or it's on the front side. Usually it'll tell you which one, which pin is which. Usually. But on the other hand, this one doesn't tell me which one's which. So this is more or less like a guess for God. 